ओके सो व्हेन प्रोडक्ट ऑफ टू वेक्टर्स व्हेन द रिजल्टेंट ऑफ टू वेक्टर्स इज अ वेक्टर इट इज कॉल्ड वेक्टर प्रोडक्ट फॉर एग्जांपल एंड इट इज कॉल्ड ए क्रॉस बी a cross b it's no more written as a dot b when the resultant product when you multiply two vectors and the resultant is a scalar quantity then we say a dot b but when we multiply two vectors and the resultant is a vector product we call it a cross b and that is why we give this sign when the resultant of the product of two vectors is a vector itself it is denoted by c dash because it is a vector and we also get n cap because earlier in case of scalar product there wasn't any direction but since the resultant is a vector product there will be a direction and this direction the direction of the resultant of these two vectors like the direction of c will either be upwards or be downwards which is perpendicular to a suppose let's say this is a plane and the uh, on this plane you have one vector a one vector b and then you have theta so the direction would either be this way or the direction would be this side so how would we know whether the direction is going to be upwards or downwards we would be using right hand thumb rule so always try to uh, you know fold your hand in this way from the smaller angle taken like the smaller angle between uh, a and b and b and a obviously it is from a to b and not from b to a A to B is the smallest angle, and B to A is the greater angle. Always take the smaller angle and start doing this right hand thumb rule. So when I see A to B, we do like this, and you see the thumb is going this words outwards. When the thumb is outwards, then it will be upwards. The direction will be upwards. Suppose this is vector A, and this is vector B. Okay, so the direction. would either be this way like c perpendicular upwards or perpendicular downwards like this see the direction is always perpendicular to both a and b the direction will be perpendicular to both a and b either downwards or upwards like this so how to know whether it would be upwards or downwards so always try to curl your hand from to the smaller angle from a to b if you see it is the smaller angle so try use this side of your hand use this side and try to curl it like this i'm curling it like this from the smaller angle my thumb is going upwards or outwards then the direction in such case would be this this would be the direction outwards perpendicular and suppose if you want to find out the direction like you if you want to find out the value of vector b cross a i was talking about a cross b so for a cross b a to b we will curl our hand in this way and our thumb will be going upwards so the direction would be like this if i want to find out the value of vector b cross vector a then you would say okay from b to a we can curl like this and still it would be outwards but no you need to curl from that angle which is smaller from here to here it is the bigger angle so you need to curl your hands from the smaller angle so here to here it's smaller so again i'll take this part this time this part and do this this part and do this so it's coming down this part of your hand you will have to like um yeah this part of your hand you will have to touch with that vector from where you want to find the angle this part from a to b it's like this from b to a from this part it's coming downwards so all so from here we can under uh, we get to know so hence by this we know a cross b sorry yes so a cross b is not equal to b cross a i just proved you right now because the directions although their magnitude are same like this is a and this is b and suppose a cross b from here to here you take the angle like this like this thumb upwards so this would be the direction right the direction of c but if we do b then again it would be downwards so b cross a and a cross b the direction would be different for a cross b it would be upwards for b cross a the direction would be downwards, downwards right downwards direction but their magnitude would be equal magnitude wise they would be equal why because uh, the formula as we know the direction since the direction which we take is perpendicular 
the direction that we take is perpendicular so we cannot take cos theta this time because cos theta acts as the base right like base by hypotenuse is cos theta and sin theta is perpendicular by hypotenuse for this reason in case of cross product we take sin theta because the direction that is taken that is the perpendicular direction taken so sin theta and what is the magnitude of a cross b a b sin theta b cross a b a sin theta right so basically they are almost equal so if we talk about the magnitude the magnitude are all equal a b b a the magnitude are equal but when you talk about the direction a cross b is upwards b cross a is downwards and therefore a cross b and b cross a are not equal and they do not follow the commutative property just as in case of scalar product in case of scalar product a dot b was equal to b dot a okay now coming to the self cross product of the vectors so i cross i so the formula for a cross b is ab sin theta so i cross i would be mod i mod i sin theta in this case if i is on the top of i the angle between them would be zero so mod i mod i sin zero which is ultimately zero so always remember self product for orthogonal unit vectors is always zero for orthogonal unit vectors the self cross product would always be zero similarly vector j cross vector j would be mod j mod j sin theta which is sin zero similarly vector k vector k how are we getting mod k mod k sin zero is zero isn't it now let's have a look at the uh, vector cross products between i j and k so for this one uh we all know uh, the angle between i j j k k i they all are separated by 90 degree so the angle is they all are perpendicular to each other so theta is 90 so let's do this vector i cross vector j would be mod i mod j sin theta here theta is 90 degree so mod i mod j sin 90 but wait 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 since it's a vector product it should also have a direction that is n cap as i told you earlier this is not a scalar product okay so mod i is one because it is unit vector mod j is one because it is unit vector and sin 90 is one and the direction would be k how i'm going to tell you again this is i this is j from here to here from here to here it's going again right hand thumb rule from here to here it's coming towards k direction if you see if it is i if it is j if we do like this which direction are we getting the other z direction see x y z direction we are getting so without giving a second thought always remember if it is uh, i cross j the direction would be k similarly j cross k mod j mod k sin 90 you will have a direction we will find out what the direction would be uh, mod j1 mod k1 sin 91 and the direction let's have a look j to k so it's coming from here to here so its direction from j to k from here to here i would be the direction isn't it i to j k was the direction from j from j to k i will be the direction and from k cross i j would be the direction see this is a some cyclic order we are getting if you see there is a cyclic order i to j the direction would be k k to i the direction would be j and j uh, j to k the direction would be i right so let's have a look over here that is why the uh, direction came as i cap again k to i mod k mod i sin 90 n cap and n cap is nothing but the direction of j because if you see there is a cyclic order like if i do this i j k this is much more easy just draw this cyclic order so if it is i to j the direction would be k okay if it is j to k the direction would be i and if it is k to i the direction would be j okay so from this we can conclude one more thing if we uh do this thing in clockwise direction from i to j it would be k plus k from j to k it would be i cap and from k to i it would be j cap but what if it is in the anti clockwise direction this was the clockwise direction what if it is in the anti clockwise direction let's say i to k 
if it is an anti clockwise direction anti clockwise means negative so i to k you are left with j it would be minus j k to j you are left with i it would be minus i because it, you are going in anti clockwise direction again j to i it would be minus k so in clockwise direction i j k it would be positive and anti clockwise direction it would be negative so let's solve a numerical vector a is equal to 5i and vector b is equal to 2k so a cross b would be equal to 5i cross 2k so 5 choose a 10 into we would be getting i k and what is i k okay. minus j i to k is minus j many people would be thinking that i cross k would be j no it would be minus j right so the final answer would be minus 10 j cap what would be b cross a now let's find out b cross a b is 2k cap into um, 5i cap so it would be 10 k cap cross i cap this time it would be 10j because k cross i is j right that k cross i is j see k cross uh, k cross i is j okay so let's have a look at few more questions uh, vector a is equal to 4j vector b is equal to 3i and vector C is equal to 2K. Alright. So, we need to find out A cross B, B cross C, C cross A and so on. So, we would be solving, I would be solving three questions here. The rest would be a homework for you. So, note the question, note down the question. Note down the question. Okay. Yes. So, A cross B, A cross B would be 4J cap cross 3I cap. 4, 3s are 12. Uh, J cap into I cap. So, J into I. So, let's see. J I, as you can see, is anti-clockwise. Anti-clockwise means negative. So, it becomes minus K cap. J cross I would be minus K cap. Therefore, the answer is minus 12 K cap. Now, B cross C. B is equal to 3i. C is equal to 2k. 3 twos are 6. I cap cross K cap. So, I cross K. Again, if I see this is I to K, this is anti-clockwise direction. So, we would be getting again minus J cap. Okay? So, the answer would be minus 6J cap. Now, I would be doing the... I have done the sixth one. The rest you would be doing for homework. B cross A is equal to 3I cap into 4J cap. 3 4s are 12. I cap cross J cap. So, I cross, uh, I cross J is, if we see, this is clockwise direction. So, if it's clockwise direction, it's going to be positive. Therefore, the answer is 12K cap. 